what's up guys what's happening stinky arm bit bass once again back in this thing now i'm not in the rodeo now i'm in my daily draw the babies around in but of course just like a true bass head or audio file i can't help but mess with it so i'm replacing my front six and a half inch speakers uh, i do have the uh the nicer limited uh 99 uh forerunner i did have the inline amp from the factory up under there of course i've got my uh, avh-x1700s Pioneer doubled it up in this thing and still got to put the, the face plate and all that mess back on it. But doing some custom wiring, some, some custom lights, and did an LED uh, conversion from scratch on my uh, panel and all that. That's a different video. Uh, so let me pop in these guys in. Now, actually, just to be real with y'all and make the video better, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to give y'all a quick demo comparing the pasture side, which I've already switched to the Fosgate earlier today, to the driver side, who has the the paper mid-woofer pro audio whatever vocals uh, that's going on 18 years old so head unit goes up to 40 max I know from using this in the rodeo I tune it usually to about 35 but that's usually with an amp so with no amp or anything just straight power from this guy I'm gonna go to 35 and compare the two Good job, Shumpo. Alright, and that's on the Fosgate. It is kind of blaring and all that stuff. I probably only bumped that down the interstate. It's not SQ like the rodeo was so much, but to not have an amplifier and all that and just be powered straight off the 1700S Pioneer. Not too bad. Now, I'm going to be bumping it at 35. Let me put it back on the factory setup over here because I haven't done this door yet, man. Check this out. Oh. I ain't got to keep playing, man. Y'all can hear the distortion. I think is actually good quality for what it is. I'm glad it's held up this this long. But even these entry level and these little two ways, what these guys? Freaking punch series, P165, P165 zero. 55 watts RMS, 110 peak, whatever. It's night and day, dog. Night and day. Talk about almost two years of technology newer. All right, I'm gonna get it in, then I give y'all a little taste. All right, peace. So I got that bad boy panel off. Just kind of show you guys the guts of a pre-2000 Japanese engineering work of art. They actually do have pretty decent speaker pods and all this. Now I saw that from the other side, but. Not surprising. These actually do give pretty decent mid bass for what it is. Of course, the tweeter is wired in parallel. I ain't gonna change that. I'm about to grab this whole big boy out and mount my uh, Fosgate in it. Then be ready to roll. Oh, and virtually zero insulation. I wish I had time to do that too. All right, All right guys, now I took this old furry beast out of here. Look at that, woo. Thing's crazy. It's almost like a free air. Infinity baffle, something crazy like that. So in the exact same uh, mounting plate, as you can see, I kind of lined up the holes a little bit. It is plastic and screw it right in. It's just a tad bit bigger. And I'm going to utilize the uh, the factory wiring too. Everything's plug and play. So I have it mounted here in a second. I got it mounted with four screws. See, it kind of sticks back, but I do have enough clearance. That side will work. This, this side should too. So I want to put this back in this in this hole. I've got wires on the outside. I'm going to fall better. But I got the connections on the outside. So on the back side. So if I mount this, how the hell am I gonna get those wires through? So when you're doing uh, stuff out of the norm or any aftermarket or anything custom like this, you gotta think about the big picture. So what I did on that side is I took that drill bit and I drilled a hole, see right in the middle of those wires, like that. Then I used Gorilla Tape and I taped it flat on the back and I drew them through. I'll show you guys in a minute. Peace. Boys and girls, get everything done. Everything's wired in parallel. Cut out some of the sloppy Factory little connectors, so everything's taped off in the back. See how it's running through the hole? Bam, it's flat. Pretty flush. See if this thing works. All right guys, holy shit. All right, everything's wired up. See, tweeter, 
it's mounted everything's good here's the factory input coming in this goes directly to the head unit moment of truth let's we'll see what we got here moment of truth players let's see what we got you know damn right what we got Hell yeah, it's working. Let's get a bug on. Oh. Oh, yeah. Boys and girls, excuse all the holes in the dash and all that. Well, it was more scan gauge other. But uh, I'm going to show you guys my settings. Uh, so you know I'm not bullshitting this video. All I did was replace the six and a half uh factory ones with well, those fos gates same ones little entry level you know what I'm talking about 55 watts rms piece four ohms is wired in parallel with that guy straight to the back of the head unit so again i have a pioneer double den avh dash x 1700s show you guys my graphic eq almost flat just three db above or actually two and then a little bit more for the highs all right a fader all the way to the front in the middle center stage gonna be these guys gonna be these guys all right now nah, let's go let's go speaker level is the order out we're good crossover now this is important what kind of music what kind of frequencies i'm gonna be sending these bad boys in the front i got it cut off at 63 hertz with a negative 12 slope Anyway, so let me ramp this up, man. Give y'all a little, give a little demo real quick. Let's see what we got. Got some drama. It's short a little bit. Okay, so the, the bass was distorting like shit. So, I guess that doesn't make the video as cool as if it hadn't. So, to not be on the amp, and just be on my factory head unit, I think that's pretty dope for what it is, considering these guys always lie about their RMS ratings per channel. Anyway, I'm going to get home. I'm going to keep you guys plugged in on all that I'm doing on the rodeo and the foreigner. And if y'all got any questions and shit, y'all already know what to do down below. All right, peace. Yeah. Yeah.